Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Saturday Night Zelda. Uh, we just got the hookshot, and we got the blue chicken koiro from, uh, the cuckoo lady in Kakariko Village, and we are on our way to Lon Lon Ranch to complete a side quest. Because now I've got all the money in the world for side quest completions. Navi, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. We're going to go in here and we're going to teach Ingo a lesson. And it'll be glorious! Glorious! So remember, Talon said that he took the ranch over, right? Like he kicked, um, he kicked Talon out. There's some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, uh, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees, and you can ride. I choose to ride. You want to hear how to ride? No, because I'm already a riding genius. Thank you so much, tee hee hee. Check this out. I happen to know a song that the local horse likes to hear. Whoa, oh, where is she? There she is. No, come on. All right, fine, just let me go. Normally, uh, Epona won't let you approach, and you're supposed to use the horse that, like, Ingo kind of sets up for you. But because I know Epona's song... Oh, come on. Let me get close to him. When you want to dismount, stop and press A. Hey, young man, do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. I already know... Wait a minute, I already know how to... Speak! Ah! Uh... I don't... I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to do to make him... challenge me. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to, like, impress him. I jumped over each barrier three times. Am I supposed to do it in the other direction? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, don't just... What? Mm. There we are. At least, like, when I jump over the barrier, I'm getting five rupees. So when I do it twice, I get my money back. You're getting better. Oh, maybe I just had to do it more than once. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Say, 50 rupees? I choose to do it. All right, I take the inside path, and I kind of keep an early lead on him, and then I just cut his ass off, and I don't let him pass me anymore. And I win easily. It's not about using all my carrots, it's about... staying in front of him and cutting him off, like body blocking his ass. And now here in the home stretch, I can just start, a, like, burning carrots. No worries. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. 
He is pissed. If the Greek Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Yeah, okay. Now he fucking cheats. Watch him cheat. He goes before the starting gun. Piece of shit. Ooh, he used my trick. That's fine. I can I can get on the inside path and recover my carrots. Nope, nope, nope. Stay ahead of him. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, now I can go. I now have a horse forever for free. What's up with that horse? Is that a Pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was gonna present that horse to the great Ganondorf. But I bet it on the race and I lost it. Shoot. Huh. As I promised, I give you the horse. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. I have a horse. I'm not concerned about whether or not I'm allowed to leave. Okay. We're killing these chickens with our horse. That's what happens next. Kill it! Alright, I stepped on the horse a bunch. No, I didn't. I stepped on the chicken a bunch. Now it's pissed. But, in this game, while you're riding your horse, you're invincible. So the angry chickens just... They follow me. It's actually kind of funny. Let's go, guys! Look at how they chase me. I'm ready to attack Ganon with my herd of chickens. Alright, let's go rescue some temple maidens. And whatevers. Let's jump the wall and get the fuck out of there. Feels good, man. So now that I got the song when I was a child, I can use the song as an adult to call Epona from anywhere in Hyrule Field. Which is really the only place she's useful. And in fact, in this game it glitches a little bit, so she doesn't always come when she's called. But, that's my challenge. Now, you guys might remember what I was saying about how in the forest, none of the forest children ever grow up. So we can walk in here into my old stomping grounds, and there's, like, the Kokiri kids. Why is that fairy following you around? You're not one of us. They don't recognize me. I see, you didn't have any problems entering the forest, mister. Did the meanies out there bother you much? Before the great Deku tree died, you wouldn't see things like that around here. Since it's dangerous outside, I always stay inside my house, but I'm bored to death in here. Taking your shit. This is what happens when you return to the places that you used to grow up, man. Everything just looks smaller. And there's monsters everywhere. You know how, like, when you go back to your hometown, there's just there just be monsters everywhere.
Remember this asshole? What are you doing? Though you wear Kokirish clothing, you can't fool me. I promised Saria I would never let anyone through here. Yeah? Well, I'm friends with Saria, so... That melody. Saria plays that song all the time. Do you know Saria? Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Yeah, it's because I am him. You dingus. The second time you've let me past your stupid little pathway. Alright, I got it, dude. Stop it! S -s Stop talking so slowly! Why did she talk so slowly? Oh my- I got it! Hold down Z to sidestep around the corner. Play the video game like an adult human. I got gotcha. you. Alright, thank you. Poke him in the butt! Give him the butt pokies. Dude, they hate it when you hit him with the hook shot. They hate it so much. It's hilarious. Get my own head out of my way. I thought he turned around. No, oh, he's definitely turned around. And right in the butt! Right in the dick! Merciless, dude. I will- I will shoot a moblin in the dick. I don't care. Man, I'm telling you. Playing this game with directional audio is like a fucking godsend. I never would have been able to figure out where that was on a TV. through the trading sequence in my head, and I'm thinking that the only thing that's going to be a stumbling block for me if I were to just try to finish it right now is getting blue fire. Does that sound about right? Oh, come on, I jumped to the side, not to the front. Again. It's a lot of money. Free money!
It's our ninja friend again. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. People get the flow of time, the flow of time is always cruel, on tattoos, like, all the time. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. That's objectively false. In order to come back here again, play the Minuet of Forest. This is the reason I came straight here. For anybody who is watching that knows the trading sequence and knows where I was supposed to bring the blue chicken, there's, this is the reason I came straight here instead of doing the blue chicken part, which I can now do, and then get back here quickly. So that I can turn it back in again. And I set it up so that um, my horse is right outside. Because I believe it's the mushroom that is time sensitive, not the medicine, right? Is that correct? Maybe it is the medicine that's time sensitive. I don't actually remember. I genuinely forget. Doesn't matter. Now we don't have to walk through all that shit anymore to get back here again. We can just warp straight to that circle platform. Can I grapple onto... Yes, I can. That's the hint, by the way. The fact that I keep walking into the woods and the chicken crows, that's the hint that I'm supposed to use the chicken in this woods. This is right here. Remember this guy from when I was a kid in Kakariko Village? Kohiro? Kohiro? Why? Normally only a nice guy can like me can tame you. Which means... You must be a nice guy. Yup, I'm a nice guy. You can tell because I finished last. Get it? Bleh. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if I take too long, so I gotta hurry. Okay. I got an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko potion shop quickly. I can do that with my new horse that I just got, guys. My new fancy schmancy horsey. Totally doing that. That's gonna be dope. I don't believe it's possible to obtain the bigger on sword without Epona's help. I don't think you can do it. I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe those speedrunners who do the side jump thing? I don't know, it's kind of hard to know. Maybe you can totally do it and it's easy and I'm just a wimp and can't run fast. It's, I've been accused of wimpatorihood. Wimp, wimp, wimpatorium? Wimpletude? I am rather unmanned by physical activity, I'll, I'll, I'll say that, it's... Not easy. I got no time for physical fitness in my life. I spend too many minutes playing the video games. Losing terribly in Heroes of the Storm. That's the, that's, that's my new favorite thing to do is just fucking get my ass beat in Heroes. Medicine shop closed till morning. I gotta get... I gotta get up there. Oh, dear. 
dicks. Is it, like, not possible for me to do this right now? No, it must... It must be possible. Come on. God damn it. What if I take a chicken? I'll do the chicken jump, like I did when I was a kid. Uh... Oh god, I think everything's bad. I'm not gonna get there in time. I did an experiment earlier, and oh my god, because the door is locked, I'm not going to get there in time. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's fucking do it again. I've never failed at that before. How about that? I've been playing this game for... How long, when did this game come out? That's when I've been playing this game since. Unbelievable. The fast path to get there requires that I, uh... Time's up. The thing I was going to deliver has spoiled. Let's try again. Oh, wow! How very kind! I didn't actually even have to come back. Normally only... Yeah, alright. Okay, so we gotta go through all this song again. Dance again. I Alright, so this is a new thing that I've never known. Apparently, if you let the ingredients spoil, it just starts you over again. You don't get, like, straight up fucked in the butthole. Which is what happened to me, because when I got there, the store was closed, because I... Hurry up, nice guy, before it disappears. Alright, gotcha. Come on, buddy. No, no, no. I really want this weapon. And I'm... confident that I can get it quickly. Shit, did it say it would open at... Daytime or night? Night, daytime, right? It's open during the day. Okay. It must needs be open during the day. Oh god, my horse is on the other side of Hyrule Field right now. We will certainly do it this time. Because the, 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 the easy way in is to walk through the door I was trying to get into, and then out the back door of that building, and then into the building I was supposed to go to. If I had the long shot, which is the upgrade to the hook shot that I will get after I finish three dungeons, I could have gotten there just by grappling onto the ceiling of an adjacent building and jumping down, but my hook shot doesn't stretch far enough for that to happen. So I was mildly fucked by just happenstance. And there's not any, like... Oh, now there's chickens just running around town. What a bunch of dingus doodles. Come on, let me in the door. I gotta go through here. Which is where the guy was blocking when I was a kid. Come on, do I have to climb over every obstacle in the world? Get into the hag's magic dude place. It, it, there we go. That bum, he had to go into the forest. I see. Give it to me now. Yes. She turns off the lights, continues to pet the cat, turn the light back on again. If you see that fool, give him this. It's the strongest medicine I've ever produced. 
However, this potion will not work on that monster. On a monster. Oh, I see what she said. I received an odd potion. I don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. They say there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Sweet. Got the medicine. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get the next item, and then it's gonna be about time to start the dungeon. That is what I believe. That is what will happen. I'm still upset by the fact that the, uh... You know what? Do I have to... I don't have to duck and weave that way. I can just... You know what? Screw him. I wonder why it only worked last time and not this time and sometimes, but not sometimes. I hookshot it onto the... I was trying to hookshot onto the ladder. Is this one of those Song of Storm secrets? I bet I know what this is. I bet I know what this is. I'll bet that that's a Scarecrow spot. I completely forgot about the Scarecrow. We gotta go make friends with a Scarecrow later. Totally have to do that. That's, like, mega important. Está muy importante. Oh, yeah, dude. Actually, I'm pretty sure that this song is based off of... One of the... I'm pretty sure it's based off of one of the songs in the planets. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You have it. Uh, I returned the odd potion and I got the poacher's saw. The young punk guy must have left it behind. Are you going to be a, uh, you know what, too? Yeah, I think that Saria's song is based off of a section out of... Jupiter, maybe? Is it Jupiter? It's one of, I think it's one of the planet's suites. I'll look into it. Alright. I have the poacher saw. I want the long shot. Let's do a Dungan. Uh, bombs. That's fine. I absolutely love... Uh, I don't have any long-range attacks. Well, I got the bow later, but... I don't have anything long enough range to kill that spider that's up there that's going to attack me. Unless it's a gold skulltella, in which case it's going to sit tight. It is. Okay. I love the music in this place. It's one of the best. See how, like, when they're not attacking, they're blocking? Like, I really don't like fighting enemies like this. Oh. 
Oh, I can stun him. How about that? He blocks that shit, too? And what, I was just getting lucky when I was hitting them earlier? Goes up for killing ghosts. Let's kill some ghosts. I don't remember where the first place is I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to test this room first. I love the just ambient music in this place. Nah, not really. Not really. No spoopier than any of the, like, skeletons that we've already killed in Zelda games. Yeah, I know that there's arrows painted on the floor. I have eyeballs. We move the blocks. And we're going to end up using this as a platform, I think, right? Here's what doesn't... Uh, like, I don't kind of understand this puzzle. because Not because it's a confusing puzzle. It makes perfect sense to me, but... Why would they paint arrows on the floor to show me how to fix the puzzle? What's the point in that, I wonder? Uh, is there anything going on over here? Uh, no. Well. What do you say we pull this back a couple of spots and... See if there's anything over there that we can access for any cool things. Oh, all right. I was supposed to push it. Didn't occur to me. Remember two seconds ago when I said that this puzzle made perfect sense to me? And then I became a liar. I demonstrated my liarhood. Okay, I was supposed to walk up this all up the uh, the ladder first, which means what I'm doing right now means nothing at all because I'm going to bump my back into the wall and then I'm not going to be able to pull it any farther. So I got to go back down again. Gosh dang, three dimensional puzzles. As well designed as I think this dungeon is, it's actually probably one of my least favorite dungeons in the game. And I feel like that speaks highly to the game design of... of Ocarina, you know what I mean? Like, it... it 
It's a good dungeon, and it's my least favorite dungeon. Is that is that odd? It's it's like it's got great music, and it's got great puzzles, and it's like it's the worst of a set of pretty good dungeons. But that's totally like that's my opinion shared by almost nobody, because most people will tell you that their least favorite dungeon is the water dungeon, and they're it's unfortunate that they're as wrong as they are, but they're wrong. The water dungeon's a great temple. And I can't wait to get to it and prove everybody wrong about how wrong they are. Uh, okay, and we can't proceed any farther in this room because I need at least a key and a bow. So I guess we'll return the way from whence where we we did there came. And in fact, you know what? I wasn't paying attention to the time, but it seems appropriate to uh, take a quick break just for editing purposes. We'll be right back with a little... Yeah, I know. That's what everyone thinks. I'm looking forward to getting there because I really enjoy it. We're going to be right back with more Saturday Night Zelda in only a hot second. <laughs> 